Hello everyone, Simon Stevens from Inception Designs. We are now at stage 14 of building our autococker. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the, uh, the body and everything aside. We're going to get the grip frame out. And with that we're going to get out our ASA. We're going to get out our beaver tail, our timing rod, our piece of macro line, and our mounting screws. The mounting screws also have the other trigger return springs in there because if ever you want to mess around with the trigger return tension, you'll already have the springs available to you to do that. And what we're going to do now is get our ASA out of the package. And when we get it out, make sure you get out the two quarter inch set screws as well. So here's the ASA, our little set screws, which are going to mount it. Oop! Caught it just before it escaped. These set screws are always trying to escape me. Now the um, the ASA is actually mounted with uh, hidden set screws, so we have to take the uh, the cam piece off in order to do that. So we're going to push the button, bring the cam down to its lowest point, and then push the button all the way across and keep opening it up. And that will actually open up the cam system and you'll end up with the main body which has the pivot pin in which slides very easily so make sure it doesn't slide out and fall on the ground and then you'll have the cam which has the button and the uh, spring for the button tension and then very simply in the main body of the ASA we are going to take our little set screws a little blue Loctite again just a little drop work it into the threads and there are two 1032 holes on the ASA so we're going to bring those set screws in there make sure they don't come up above the the sliding surface yet we are just installing them into the ASA okay and then we're going to take the ASA and from the back of the frame we're going to slide it in the T slot Make that line up, push it forwards just a little bit so the back is flush and we're going to go down into those 1032 set screws and lock them down. Now that is enough to uh, hold the ASA in place. These frames, because they're designed to work on all sorts of different guns, actually also have two set screws inside the rubber grips that can be tightened down. If you're the kind of person that's very rough on their gear, you might want to open up the grips, tighten down those two set screws as well. Um, don't think you need to, but if you're that kind of person, maybe you want to. Then we're going to put the pivot pin back into the ASA. Oh, actually, maybe to start off, we're going to take the button with the spring. We're going to push it through the hole and out the other side. And we have to make sure it aligns with the hole in the other side of the uh, cam and that you can push it through. The ASA pivot pin on the bottom. Put it about center. You're gonna put the cam over the pin, push the button all the way in, bring the cam up, pushing the button all the way in, close it, and there we go, we're set. That is the easy ASA. So easy. All right, so that is done. Now we are going to look at mounting the frame to the gun. Before we do that, actually we'll stop and we'll make that another video. So your ASA is on your frame, you're all set.